When it comes to Drake, my objective is to make the artist the number one priority at any cost. My goal is to make them happy. As much as I want to have integrity in the work that I'm doing, I want to make sure they're getting what they want because they're the ones that have to go on stage and perform it. They're the ones who have to carry that record for the rest of their lives and their careers. When looking through the catalog of this generation's music producers and engineers, it would be difficult to find somebody who has formed the type of connection that 40 has formed with Drake. For most producers, the relationship between engineer and artist is a temporary partnership that is often arranged by record labels and management with limited regard for artistic vision. 40's partnership with Drake, however, completely contradicts this philosophy as he has formed a near-exclusive relationship with an artist that has lasted over 10 years with five studio albums. I shy away from working with a lot of people. Like, usually when people, like, my answer is almost always no, you know? Not because I don't want to work with anybody else, but because I built something with Drake and I'm protective of that, you know? I feel like I'd water that down if I just suddenly gave it to every other artist in the business. The genesis of this union can be traced back to Drake's third official mixtape, So Far Gone. Drake was in search of a record producer who could invoke a particular mood and complement his unique cadence. After searching far and wide with no success, he was approached by his then engineer, Noah Forty Shabib. The first thing we thought is that we must work with all the biggest producers and we gotta go work with this guy and this guy and this guy because they're gonna help us get bigger, or they're gonna help Drake blow up and so on and so forth. And so we went through the motions as I think a lot of artists do when they get into this business. And at some point we realized like, wow, we're really looking for something different, you know? And it came clear to me what he was looking for and that for the first time in my whole life at that point, I must've been about 25 years old, I realized like, oh my God, I think I know what I need to make. It's not too often that an artist comes into the game with an engineer. We had this bond between artist and engineer that not a lot of people had. I knew how to mix records, but I was willing to go the extra mile as far as just me and you, let's do this. I guess he embraced me as an engineer, which is unusual. In 40, Drake found his counterpoint. Noah was able to create an ambient background that was composed specifically for Drake. It was the missing element that allowed the two to reach their maximum potential. I'm notorious for this, like, you know, very lo-fi, you know, underwater sound. When you would take out that pristine high end and, and sort of lower the sample rate, it would become a little more authentic, almost different, uh, like it was sampled or like it was taken from somewhere. I was carving out an entire space in the frequencies, so the artist occupies the top end completely, almost exclusively, and the music sits in the bottom end. In a way that nobody would do it. Anybody would say, you know, absolutely not. You cannot do that. That is against the rules. I'm sorry. We will not release this song. It sounds horrible. Where's all the top end? It was just me and Drake wanting to do something different and to make a sound that we felt like was unique. And it really resonated with people. 40 also approaches production in a way that allows melody and musicality to trump the traditional bass and rhythm in modern hip hop. This method of songwriting, focusing on harmony and arrangement, help to unify and enhance Drake's melancholic vocals. A lot of producers, especially in rap music, start by programming drums and getting a groove to the song, and that's where they build out their music. But I start with uh, melodies and chord progressions. I'm very much based on music and feeling and emotion, you know? So I strive to create an emotion or create a feeling and then give it to an artist and hope that whatever they write or whatever the writer writes is going to be synonymous with that feeling. And they're gonna both send the same message and therefore deliver what the song is supposed to do. For most producers, that amount of input on artistic direction is unheard of. But the bond between Noah and Drake transcends the ordinary kinship found throughout the music industry. They have dismantled the formal relationship between artist and producer and transformed it into a loyal brotherhood. I'm in a unique situation because my relationship with Drake, for instance, is, you know, I was his engineer at first, not his producer. Right. But we were on a very much a parallel. I mean, we used to share hotel rooms, we traveled together, we had to split our money to make it to where we got today, you right. know? So we had a mutual respect for each other and a trust that a lot of engineers and artists maybe don't have mm -hmm. because they're not, you know, there's a sort of an authoritative relationship between yeah. the artist and the engineer <clears throat> and yeah. cussing at him and cracking a whip at his back while he's in the chair, you know? So me and Drake have a real respect and therefore a trust. So he let me do a lot of these things. Do because it. we have such a great relationship and I'm so close to him and he yeah. trusts me, I'm able to actually go and do things as a producer that I would have <clears throat> no right or gotcha. the balls to do with any the other artist, right? You, I have a relationship, it. I can work with him on that level. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Artists throughout history have buckled under the pressure of superstardom and success reinventing oneself, remaining true to the fans, all while creating new and original trends is an arduous task. Luckily for Drake, he doesn't have to carry that weight alone. Together, 
He and 40 have formed a unique and innovative sound that has propelled them into superstardom and will be countlessly imitated for years to come. Without 40, Ollie, there be no me. Imagine if I never met the broskis. God's plan. God's plan. What up, squad? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching all deaf music.